This is a short video to familiarize people with how to set up the new Xerox printers on their tablets. And there are basically three steps to doing that. Um, there's a document that we've prepared which is actually accessible for Blackboard. So if you go to Blackboard and log in, you can find a course called Tablet PC Resources in your list of courses. And there's an announcement in that course, the only announcement I think, um, that explains the new Xerox machine. And there's a link to a wiki article that will give you detailed instructions on how to get this set up on your tablets. So the best way to start is to get into that wiki document and follow those instructions. But this video will give you a, a visual and a little overview of exactly um, what you need to do to go through setting up on your, on your tablet, the new Xerox machines. There are basically three steps to doing this. The first step that you need to do is to update your registry on your computer. There's a a link under step number one in this wiki article that will download a registry file and update your registry. Um, if you're in Internet Explorer, you can just click on the link and select run. If you're using Firefox, what you need to do is right click on the link and select save link as. And you can put it anywhere. I'm going to put it right here on my desktop. And when it downloads, you want to just click open. And it will say, are you sure you want to add that information into your registry? You're going to say yes, because you do. And once it's been installed, you can say OK. In order for it to take effect, though, you need to restart your computer at this point. If you don't, or if you don't run this registry fix, then what's going to happen is the access to the Xerox machines is going to be really slow when you go to select them from a print dialog box. Um, it will take a long time for it to connect to the printer. Um, the next step in setting up the Xerox machines is to download the software that lets you log into the, the Xerox machines. You, it's a piece of software called Equitrack Client um, or Print Assist. And under step number two, there's a link that will let you download the software. So if I right click on that and I say save link as and tell it to save it to my desktop, it will go ahead and save that. And it's going to save it as a file called Equitrack.msi. And let me pan down here and just show you what that looks like. And if I double click on this icon, it's going to launch the installation of the Equitrack Express client software. And I'll say next. And I'm going to do a typical installation. Um, the really critical part of this installation is that it gives you several things that you have to select from. And what's important is that everything should be X'd out except for this one here that says prompt for login. That's the only item that should not be X'd out. Um, I had cost preview selected on there on my machine, so it's going to, when I do a demonstration in a second, it's going to pop up. Um, but if I go through this now, it's going to give me a warning about the print spooler needing to stop, and that's fine. I'll say yes. And next it will ask me, what type of printing do you want to support? And we're going to support Windows printing. We're not going to support Novell Netware NDPS. So Windows should be the only one that's checked off. And then I can click Next again. It will then ask me what the name of the accounting server is. And it's going to be rocroc.d-e.org. And that should be in there by default. If it's not, you can type it in. Um, next, it will say click install to begin the installation, and I'll go ahead and do that. And in a few seconds, um, we should have our software set up. And that's really all there is to it to getting the software set up. What I do now is actually connect to the printers. So I've already got the, the printers installed on mine, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this one so I can reinstall it as a demonstration. And in order to in order to connect to the printers, I need to first connect to the print server. So I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to click run. And the name of the print server is ROC. So I'm going to type backslash backslash ROC and I'll click OK. And when 
that window opens, the ROC window will open, and I'll see all of the printers, all the Xerox machines that are available to connect to. And I can connect to any of these, and you see that the Klein machine is located there, the Leggett machine is located there, the library is located there. There are two machines in the lower school that middle and upper school students probably will never print to, so you don't need to install them. But you can go ahead and install any of the machines that you'd like to be able to print to. And installing them is as simple as double clicking on them. So I'll, let's install this Leggett, Leggett Xerox machine right now. I'll double click on that. And it gives me a little warning saying I'm about to connect to a shared printer and it's going to automatically install a print driver. And that's perfectly okay. So I'll say yes. And in a couple of seconds, um, the printer window will show up. And once I see that, I'm, I'm all set. I can print to that printer now just by selecting it from the print dialog box in any application. So I'm going to close that now, and just as a test, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go File, Print, and I'm going to select the new Leggett printer, and actually in in Firefox, it's interesting, these these show up at the top of the, the printer dialog box list. Um, all the ones on the Rock server show up at the beginning of the list. In other applications, sometimes they're mixed in down here with the other DE printers. Um, but here's my Leggett printer that I just found and installed. And if I just click on OK at the bottom of this dialog box, what will happen now is the Equitrack software will ask me to log in. And it needs me to do that so that it knows when I go to the, the Xerox machine and swipe my card, it knows which jobs are mine. So I'm going to type in my username. And that's the same username that I use for everything else on the network. Um, it's your regular username and password. And once you type in your username and password and click OK, the job has been sent. And you can go to that Xerox machine and swipe your ID card and get your print job out. What's nice about the machines in Leggett and in Klein is that I can send a job to either of those two printers and I can release them from either of those two printers. So, for example, if I just sent that job to Leggett and I walk over there and there's a big line of people at the Leggett machine, or if it's out of paper or something like that. I can go to the machine in Klein and swipe my card, and I can release that job in Klein. Um, so that's just a nice little feature of the Xerox machines in those two buildings. Um, that's all there is to it in setting up the, the Xerox machines to, to print from your tablet to those Xerox machines. And if you have any trouble doing it, you can feel free to come on up to the Tab Center, and we'll give you a hand installing it. Or if you'd like to give us a call on the Computer Services Helpline, extension 3826, we can give you a hand over the phone.